loaded words. Um, West, um, West Palm Beach, uh, some years ago, uh, tried to rewrite their highway regu regulations to uh, get rid of what they call biased terminology. Um, accident, they said, well, in a, an accident is actually, usually there is in a, a road accident. Someone is to blame, and, and, and we shouldn't hesitate to blame people. Dart out, where a pedestrian darts out across the road and gets run over. Or maybe part of the equation was actually whatever ran them over. So maybe to, or improvement. Well, improvement for a road improvement, great, a wider road. Well, who, who's that an improvement for? Um, people who want to drive along it or people who want to cross, cross it, enhance upgrade, um, deteriorate, um, in what way? Alternative, alternative means of transport um, traditionally in, in West Palm Beach meant uh, people doing things other than going by car, pedestrians and cyclists. Uh, but they said, well actually, the pedestrians came first, then the cyclists, and then the, the, the public transit, and actually the alternative is the car. So let's not call everything else alternative just because it's not carborne. Words implying spurious, this is if you remember where we started the, uh, the, the first thoughts towards the manifesto of the, the campaign for clarity in urban design. Uh, spurious reality to an abstract concept, the housing ladder. You know, you know how it is with housing. You buy a little house, and then a couple of years later you, you sell it and buy a bigger one, and, and you go on doing this, and in a few years' time you've got an enormous house, and it's, I don't know, I've never quite managed to work out how this ladder works. It doesn't seem to be a ladder to me. Um, words implying spurious precision. Uh, a plan. Uh, is it anything more than the wish list? Uh, words giving simple ideas, spurious technical status. Let's go on a visual environmental audit. Words implying spurious distinctions. The, the, the RTPI, um, five years ago now, uh, decided that there's a lot of confusion about participation, involvement, and engagement, and they needed to uh, define them. So they defined community involvement, community participation, community engagement. They said these are all very different things, and unless we understand what the difference is, we'll confuse ourselves. And, and I've read these definitions more times, I'm sure, than anybody else has, and I still can't remember what the difference is. Um, because you can't do this, they're just words. They're not specific things, and if we want to describe things, you know, we've invented sentences and paragraphs, and that's how you describe things, not by Does anyone know the, the distinction between these terms? You must do, because you work in this field, and clients say, we want you to organize some public engagement, not in participation. We're not paying you for that. We want engagement. Anybody know? Yeah, I think Sherry Einstein's ladder of, <laughs> sorry to use the word ladder, but ladder of participation works quite well, because it's about yeah, I th yes, I, I, think, I think that's great. I mean, and that's the ladder going from, because people say participation, that's a good thing. And what she said in 1968 or whenever it was, was actually it goes from um, control. community control at the top to manipulation at the bottom and various stages in between. And if you look at the ladder, then you can think, actually, there is a difference between. They're not just words, but they're actually uh, different things going on. And it's realities of political control. Participation as a weasel word. Yeah, I think they all can. All can but, I mean, and, and, well, you know, engagement, to my mind, is a much stronger positive meaning. But I think it's rather dangerous to, 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 to you know, even to say that, you know, there's anything wrong with the word or that it's a good word. You know, it's because, you know, there's nothing, they're just words, you know, and they, uh, and they're all, they, they've got sort of echoes and, and stuff, but, you know, we give them a lot of, um, <laughs> Uh, weight and meaning that you know the, the outside world doesn't have you know and so when we write on a leaflet you know we're now going for community engagement or whatever it is you know people don't get these distinctions. Um, I think the use of participation has been subject to political manipulation in the exercise of power. If you hold the power, you don't participate. You advise, inform, or instruct. You don't participate. Yeah, so that's got lost. And, I mean, but all of these about political control, they're all a process in which there's professionals and which there's the public and we're trying to involve them and sometimes we're trying to involve them and, and help them and, and other times we're trying to manipulate them and, 
Uh, and well, the involvement of, again, one of these manipulative words, it means a very minor kind of engagement, almost trivial and totally unimportant, really. But it's hyped up. Uh, Robert? I think you've got too involved in a participatory engagement. <laughs> I'll carry on. 